Hi, this is Matt Newpin and Ben Peterson with Docent EDU. Uh, and so I'm a high school science teacher and our co-founder, Karen Hogan, teaches English. And we started out um, with this idea a few summers ago when we redid our school's curriculum to be 100% online digital. Uh, it was kind of a really frustrating situation of trying out different tools and, and things being very cumbersome for the teacher and taking a lot of time and also for the students and the result wasn't what we wanted. So when we had the opportunity of starting Docent EDU at Startup Weekend EDU last year we, where we won first place, we created the ideal tool to turn freely available online text such as this great OpenStax uh, college physics textbook into a more engaging lesson and less time for teachers and students. So to get started, I have my text. I'll click on the extension. And now I've got my toolbar is popped up over here. I can do a lot of really nice, um, you know, basic annotation things here. So I want to kind of highlight a couple of different things here. Of like, so this is one of our vocab words. Um, but before we get too far into the text, I want my students to do something. So there's this really nice simulation on concord.org about pressure and temperature. And so what I'm gonna do is I'll just copy the iframe code for that. I'll head back over here and now I'm gonna paste that in. We now have a interactive simulation that my students can experiment and play around with at the beginning of the reading before they get too far into it. Um, but I kinda of wanna make sure of like, you know, are they getting this main information? So create a simple little question here to assess, are they getting it? Uh, so what is the connection between temp and pressure uh, and I'll just go ahead and click create now my students can answer the question right here once they've loaded the docent extension or bookmarklet uh, if I ever need to go back and change something so I misspelled connection so I'll just correct that and click save um, and so it's as simple as that if I ever wanted to delete it I just click delete and then ready to go. So down here then we've got some really good text again so talking about human perception and temperature and again I mean so it's some great information but my students are very visual they need some videos lower temperature. So minute physics is always a, one of my go-to places for videos um, and so I want to add that right here so I just paste in the URL and my students are now able to watch that video right there within the text. It's just as if it was there originally. Um, I know this is something that's going to really appeal to my students and, and draw them in. Um, so as we go farther down, um, we kind of get to a couple of other spots now of one of the bad parts about, or one of the hard parts about science is that there's a lot of vocab words that are out there. Um, so I'm going to highlight a couple of things. So right here, uh, we've got Fahrenheit. And I want to highlight just this conversion between Fahrenheit and Celsius. And also, you know, probably because this is, you know, a text assuming students know about Fahrenheit and Celsius, my students don't really know where the word Fahrenheit or like who discovered it came from. So over here on Wikipedia, I'm just going to copy just the guy's name that, you know, came up with the scale. So Daniel Gabriel Fahrenheit. And I want to add that in here. And I'm just going to create, add it as a note to my highlight. I'll paste that in. And now any highlight that has an underline under it means there's a little note. Students can click on that and view that highlight that I've added in. Um, because vocab is so difficult for students um, in science, it's nice to have these, you know, Quizlet is great for vocab. You can add in quizzes and flashcards. Uh, instead of sending my students to a separate place, I am just simply going to embed the flashcards right there within the text. So I'm gonna click on that and paste in the link and now we have um, our little flip cards right there thermal conduction for my students uh, and they can switch to quizzes and different tests and things like that with um, using Quizlet. It's a great tool. Um, uh, so we can add as many questions as we want anywhere we want. So what is absolute zero and why do we care? Uh, one of the questions I had in there before but discussions is another really big part of science that I like to ask um, students. So with Docent EDU, I can have a lot of targeted discussion questions spread throughout whatever the reading happens to be. Um, so right here, so they talk about average body temperature, you know, let's use like our smartphones or some, you know, like apps in there to get your temperature. So what is your body temp? Uh, what is your temp right now? Uh, so I'm going to click create. And so right here, so, so it's, it is 90 degrees 
Fahrenheit. I can add that in there. And now we'll get a quick little poll. Maybe we can use this information then in class later on, and then we can graph out the results from our discussion. Discussions are different than questions in that they're not graded. Um, and discussions are visible to everybody within that class, whereas regular questions are only the response, student responses are only visible to the teacher. Um, and so then farther on down here, I want to have another discussion question um, of do you think we will ever get to absolute zero? Um, and I'm not going to put a response for that one. Uh, and we'll kind of see if, like, what the students think now that they've read through this text. Um, so my lesson is essentially done. Uh, there's a dashboard for docent edu where you're then able to view all of your docents. You can assign it to a class from here. Uh, click on it to view that. Um, you can add in classes by simply clicking the plus, add, select your class. You can view the student roster. Uh, to enroll students, I just click on the binoculars. And this is the course code that students would enter. This is great if you have a projector up in the front of your room. And then for grading, you can then grade either by question or by student. And lastly, I'm ready to assign this to my class. So I just click on the logo, select my class I want to assign this to, click OK. And now my lesson is assigned. And so when my students go to this page and open up the Docent EDU extension, they will see how that looks. Ben, tell us about the tech behind this. Yeah, so what Matt just showed you was our Chrome extension, and that was made with JavaScript, HTML, and CSS. If you don't have Chrome, we also have a bookmarklet that was made the same way. Our extension will be available in the Chrome Web Store by February 5th. Well, thank you very much for watching our demo. This was Docent EDU.